Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. As you can see, I've got a home bargains haul today. So let's get straight Gosh, on. I seem to have bought so much stuff today. Um, so I'm just gonna pull things out at random. So I've got a bit of like home cleaning, all that stuff. So I picked up some bold gel. This was $2.99. Um, this lasts us quite a while. It says it has 24 washes on it. Um, I simply picked this one up because it was the cheapest. There wasn't a lot of selection in store. I think they're having problems with their deliveries. A lot of the shelves were actually empty or the products were really spaced out to try and make them look a little bit more full. And they'd also run out of carry bags. So. Um, if you are going to home bargains, do remember your reusable bags, which I'm terrible for. Um, but yeah, do remember. And also, if you are running low on something, I'd probably recommend to just go and get it ASAP. Um, hopefully there won't be shortages. We then also got some Kia Aura. I think this is around the pound mark. I actually picked two of these bottles up because... Oh, this is just the best cordial. It actually tastes like oranges and it's so much better than Robinson's or any other brands that I've tried. I also picked up some face masks. You get 50 in here and these were 3 dollars I am still wearing face masks. I did notice when I went into home bargain today, nobody else seemed to be wearing one. Um, but I feel more comfortable wearing one still at the moment because I know cases are a little bit high. What are you guys doing at the moment? Are you still wearing masks? I also picked up this dish matic. So this was $1.99, which I thought was a really good price for the fairy liquid and also the actual dish matic. Um, it's the pink one, so obviously I was drawn in by that. And yeah, I just thought it was a really good price for $1.99. I thought I needed another one of these because the head on ours has gone a little bit funny anyway. So for one more, for that price, I, can't, I just wasn't going to leave it behind. I did also stock up on these pastas. These are the Dolmio Pasta Twist. It's basically pasta that you can put in a microwave. And if you've got a toddler or a kid or you're working from home like me, these are just a lifesaver. These are £1.25 each. And you literally put them in the microwave for 1 minute and 15 seconds. Stir a sauce through and you're done. And you can mix it up each day, have different sauces. And I just find this a little bit better and a little bit more substantial than say like having a pot noodle. I feel like this is slightly healthier. And of course, if you make your own pasta sauce, you can have lots of like veggies and stuff in it as well. So yeah, these are just so handy to have it. I did also get some Tic Tacs. I just feel like these were essential. You get three packs in here and, oh no, you get four packs in here. And yeah, this is just for like the car and my handbag. It's up my little dotty, a huge box of Denta sticks. So she's a medium sized dog, she's 15 kilos and you get eight weeks worth in here and you get 56. So that was so good. And this was eight pound 25, it was eight pounds something. And getting the extra big box worked out a lot cheaper than getting the medium or the small packets. So I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna go for it and just get a load because we keep running out. And when we do run out, you can really tell on a breath and I don't want her teeth to be building up with plaque or anything. These work really well for her. Um, the dentist did say though, she's very good at cleaning the back of the her teeth with these, um, but then we do have to brush her teeth at the front because yeah, she likes to use her back teeth to gnaw these down. And then it picked up this really pretty box of tissues. I just really like the pattern on it. I think this is like 69p. Yeah, these are only 65p and I just thought the pattern was really pretty pretty kind of reminded me of the patterns that you get in Saints with home and like happy tat and stuff so yeah i just thought they were really nice to have on the coffee table and then as you've probably been noticing from my recent videos i'm trying to wear my hair more natural which is curly and oh my god today is such a hot day and it is so frizzy but hopefully you can't tell too much on camera um but i did pick up this creighton's frizz no more hold and moisture activator cream so the last time I washed my hair, I used a conditioner on it, which should have been a wash out one. And I feel like that's made my hair look a little bit more kind of, not greasy, but you can definitely tell this product on it. And then I put a gel over the top. If I just use the gel on, that own, on its own, it kind of goes crispy. Um, so I wanted a cream that could go underneath and this was only 99p. So I am gonna give this one a go. I'm not sure whether to spend loads of money on hair products for my hair oh, it's just I have such difficult hair that I just feel like even when I spent and I spent loads of money on the past it, it never really they never really add much more benefit 
Um, but yeah, that's maybe, maybe I've not invested in the right products, but I thought, well, for 99p, I'll give this one a go first. I did pick up a bottle of my trusty Dove antiperspirant. This just smells absolutely incredible. If you want to smell like you're going on holiday, I literally look forward to spraying this on in the morning, and it's only £1.69. I then also got this Surf in Watermelon Breeze. I've really been loving the smell of watermelon lately, which isn't like me, because I don't actually like eating watermelons. But this was only £2.49. Again, my store was running really low on softener, so let's give this another sniff. It smells amazing in the store, from what I can remember. Oh god, it just smells incredible. <laughs> it literally smells incredible. Like, I think this is my new favourite um, detergent, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be using that. I picked up a number of birthday cards because my stash is just running so low at the moment and we just get lost without them and we end up going to Sainsbury's and spending like £3 on a really basic card so I do try and stock up when I am in there so I did get this one, it's your birthday with a cheeky monkey on and that was 29p I got a Marvel one which was 79p, I do have somebody in mind for that card um, I got a Minion one because my daughter has a few friends and yeah, again, I'd rather just have it in now so when their birthday comes up, I've got it and I don't have to worry. That was 79p. I've got this kind of plain basic one which was 29p, but I do really like it. It's a lovely kind of just, I feel like that could be masculine or feminine. That's quite a nice one. I did also get this one. We like I've said before, we have a lot of we have a lot more men in the family than women. We're totally outnumbered. <laughs> um, and I really like this black and gold one for 69p. And then also just another quite masculine one again, sort of black and gold, quite big, and that was only 59p. They have such bargains in home bargains funnily enough but yeah also um poundland is really good for getting birthday cards from as well picked up some more of my trusty face wipes because as much as i want to get into a skincare routine i'll be honest i can't it's because i don't suffer with my skin even if i leave my makeup on at night i don't i'm really lucky i don't break out i that's one thing about me that i'm very grateful for is my skin so as much as I'd like to get into a skincare routine, that I don't see many benefits from me doing it, which means I always end up slipping back into bad habits, including wipes, and these are two for a pound. And I do like the um, home bargain ones, they are quite moist. Pick up some Half Pick Active Fresh in Pink Blossom. Of course, I was gonna pick the pink one up. I really like the surf ones that smell amazing, and they're all like lovely, like tropical scents and things. But as I was saying, like all the cleaning products were running seriously low in home bargains. So I got this one. I feel like Harpic is good anyway. I do feel like it's a little bit tougher maybe than the Surf one. And I don't know what it is at the minute. I feel like I'm just constantly running out of like bleach and toilet cleaner. I also got some liquid bio capsules. To be honest, I feel like I've bought these. I've just been thinking about it. I feel like I bought these out of habit. Cause I used to use powder and on dark clothes, sometimes the powder would stick and you would see it and you'd have to end up washing it again. So I'd always use towels, but now I use gel. I don't really need towels, but anyway, if you're in a rush and you need to get it on, like you wash on super duper quick, throw in a tab in, maybe in a bit later, <laughs> um, I can use these. I usually go for the pink packet, but again, like I say, everything was running low. So I've gone with the green one. I'm not sure what the scent is on here. Um, you'll probably point it out to me. I'm probably completely missing it. But yeah, hopefully these will smell nice. I'm going to be honest, I didn't really need to buy any surf, but I did get this one because look at the packaging on it. It is so pretty. And I use surf all the time. I use it for my shower screen. I use it for my hobs. I use it for my kitchen sink. Uh, I use it in my bath. I use it in my sink. Like everywhere that I can use it, I do use it. I just feel like it's absolutely brilliant. And this one is in Spring Bloom and apparently it's limited edition. So yeah, I did get my hands on that. Of course, I picked up some of my trusty toothpaste. This is one I always use. Aqua Fresh, Fresh and Minty. For £1.79, I picked up some of this Dove, and this is the Restoring Ritual Shampoo with coconut oil and turmeric for stronger hair without signs of damage. So, I really love Dove products, I just feel like you can't go wrong with them. And I love the smell of coconut at the moment. And I've been using the blue one on my hair and I feel like my hair has actually really liked it. Um, this is the first time that I've just kind of let my hair dry 
naturally without usually i'll put a bobble in it to try and help keep the frizz down but i felt like i haven't needed to do that so yeah trusty dove i've got one of those picked up a, another dove secrets because i like to have one in the bedroom and one in the bathroom it's also running out of hand sanitizer and this one is a family favorite my husband really likes this one as well it's the sunny one and it's in watermelon and that is such a nice scent with these ones some of the other scents smell a bit alcoholic, but this one smells really sweet and they are only 99p each i do find with hand sanitizers like we keep them in the car i have one in the handbag i have one in the porch i feel like they all run out together for some reason but yeah i also got one of these anova vanilla and macadamia conditioners to be honest i picked it up because i was drawn in by the packaging like i always am marketing really gets me clearly i'm one of those people who seems to be easily influenced by that sort of thing um and i believe i used i think this used to be the brand that i used to get because it didn't have any silicone in it so i don't know if it's still silicone free i'm kind of not as strong on that like i said i'm not doing the curly girl method or anything like that uh, but yeah i just like the sound of vanilla and macadamia and i just thought the color very on a trend very beige very nude um, some chili con carne i do really like this stag light one um god even if you just throw it over some of that microwave pasta it was like one pound 29 or something like that and um, i got three that would do me for six meals i'd only have half a tin for myself and yeah my husband likes it too so even if we want a really quick dinner maybe we're going out somewhere then we can use this um as far as like tin foods do go i'm usually quite fully about what comes out of a tin but i can really recommend these and i felt like i couldn't leave this behind so this is a huge cleansing hand wash in candy hearts i didn't actually smell it in the shop because oh God, i was just so hot and flustered <laughs> um so i just kind of picked it up and went oh yeah that's quite sweet i don't know i'm not 100 percent sold on it but it was i picked it up because it's a huge bottle and it's antibacterial and it was only £1.50 and then the final item that I picked up and probably my most favourite item from this haul is this um, storage container so it's a kind of lovely grey and white woven fabric and it's a really nice size so I got a new microphone for my laptop for doing come shop with me and it's so much bigger than the last one and it just keeps toppling over in the laptop case and I have so many different wires and things that everything just keeps falling out and i'm just getting to the point where i'm sick of looking at the mess of what is on the floor so i wanted something that could contain that and just make it easy i could just throw it in and this was only 3.99 and this would be great even just to like throw toys and things in too so yeah i was really happy with that actually i had loads of lovely homeware and i'm planning on doing a come shop with me at the weekend and hopefully i'll be able to get that video up on the sunday fingers crossed um i didn't do it whilst i was in store i can't buy and film a video like at the same time because i miss stuff that i'm supposed to get so i end up like going in there twice i'm surprised that i'm the stuff don't know me on like a first name basis at this point <laughs> but um yeah i'll hopefully be going back in there and that video will be up soon Anyway, that was it for this haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.